All right, in this video, we are going to see what logarithmic functions look like on a graph. <clears throat> the first one that we are going to look at is y equals log base 6 of x. First thing is we need to find out how to enter this into our calculator. So I'm in the y equals. What I am going to hit is the math button. Then once I hit the math button, I am going to keep scrolling all the way down until I get to that capital A. And you will see it says log base. Hit enter there. And that gives you the log and the correct places to put in the 6 and the x. So I'll have log, I'll put a 6 in the base, and then come over here and put the x in, and then graph it. So here is what a logarithmic function looks like on a graph. Let's look at this table and plot some points. So we will start at 1, 0, then we have 2, and 0 point, we'll call that 0 0.4. Let's go down to another good one, 6, 1. Let's look at what this looks like on a graph. All right, the first point at 1, 0, so to the right, 1 up and down 0, then to the right 2, and up point 4, and then to the right 6, so right 6 and up 1. What this is going to do now, if you're looking at the graph, what it's going to do is it's going to come through, it's going to cross the x-axis at that 1, and then it's just going to get closer and closer to that y axis. So this is what your log functions are going to look like on the graph. All right, looking at another example. We have f of x equals log of x. So when I go to my y equals to put this one in, you'll notice that it doesn't have the base like that last one did. So I actually don't have to go to my math key to get to log base. You'll notice that down right to the left of the 7 key is a key that just says log. So that's the one we'll use, log x. And you'll notice that it has that very similar shape. All right, one more example. Let's look at when f of x equals ln of x. So again, look right under your log button on your calculator. You'll see an ln. We use this sum, but we use the e function on that key. This, when you have ln, that's the natural log, and it's log with a base of e. So let's just see what that looks like in our graph. So again, I'm just putting, I'm hitting the ln key, ln of x, and I'll graph that. And you'll notice, again, it's going to look very similar.